This was etched in my brain and it solidified my nothingness. I was married twice, but she yeah. saw me with uh, one of the husbands and she told me, she said, man, um, he looked like he is a way, you know, better, classier person than you. Like, how did you end up with him? And she didn't, what? yeah. And, and I know she didn't mean any harm, but she didn't understand what that already did to my almost non-existent esteem. The little bit that I thought I had, the one seed, the little mustard seed I thought I had, that was just plucked up by the roots right oh, wow. there. So all the while I remember in my mind when he would do these things, I kept thinking I have to measure up. I didn't realize he needed to come up higher. He needed to understand how to respect this this person that lives with you. I'm not an object, I'm a human being. Before I was your wife, I was a human being. I did not understand that and so I kept trying to figure out how do I measure up to this person that's more classy than me, that I really don't deserve and he did me a favor and I ought to be grateful. And, and see, those are the messages that I was sent all my life. I remember another occasion I was dating um, a boy and I think this boy, he, he tried to do something that I wasn't ready to do. And I spoke to an older lady about it. And this is, and as God is my witness, this is what she said. She said, well, for a girl like you to get a boy like that, you ought to be grateful. Wow. Did I just tell you what he was trying to get me to do? She stuck to her guns. I ought to be grateful that a boy like that would want to date a girl like me. A girl like me. I was in high school and I was still a virgin. I didn't cause my parents any trouble. I didn't have boys running in and out of the house. She was referring to the fact that I was dark and in her mind not the most pleasant looking girl. And she felt like this boy because he you know was you know fairly decent popular person then i should have been grateful it doesn't matter like forget what he said or forget what he's asking you to do just do it because you know you don't deserve him anyway so that was the message that was sent to me you know all along as i was growing that's the message that was etched in my mind that i'm nothing that I don't deserve anybody. I don't deserve love and I better take what I get. So then you hear people on the outside saying that these doggish men are good men. I felt like I can't lose my good thing. So I was doing everything in my power not to walk away, but to get him to stay. And I stayed trying to, like they say, mold him, change him or live up to, but that would have never happened because he never respected me. He never valued me. He never even loved me. You don't hurt people that you love. The scripture tells us about love. It vaunted not itself. It's not puffed up. It thinketh no evil. You know, love is patient and it is kind. And if you're not receiving that in your relationship, if you're receiving licks and slaps in the face and, and words that pull you down, you need to think twice about that relationship. Is this where I need to be? Is this where I need to cash all of my chips? I keep putting the chips in and I keep coming up on the losing end. We have to think, is this what I really want to do? Is this where I really need to be?